What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel for another hair product review. And this weekend, we're having a look at the Tropics Matte Clay from Gerson & Company. So I know I'm a little bit late to the party with this. This thing, um, if you guys are on like the Everything Pomade group on Facebook or whatever, this was really like making some waves um, a couple of months ago. It was getting a lot of popularity, a lot of people talking about it. So I'm happy to say that we're finally here to talk about this. I've had it for a while and I have been testing it for a while. So if you're not familiar with Gerson & Company, this product comes all the way from Singapore. And as of right now, I think they just have this Tropics Matte Clay and their standard pomade in their lineup. I could be wrong, they could have more products than that. Um, but yeah, the Tropics Matte Clay is sounded like right up my street. So this is said to be a matte finish clay with a strong restylable hold, as well as an easy application, a high volume, and easy washout. And the main thing that piqued my interest about this and about their products in general is that they said that they're really meant to um, combat high humidity climates and very humid situations because you know as you might expect in Singapore shit can get a little moist which sounded really great for me because here in Connecticut and New England um, especially in the summertime a bitch gets humid and that's usually you know a problem for me as a person whose hair is naturally curly you know I spend all this time blowing it out nice and straight and smooth and then I walk out into the humidity and it just poof, goes back to curly frizzy garbage. And since we're finally starting to get into some warmer weather and nearing the summer months, I thought that this was an appropriate time to talk about this product that is supposedly really good for high humidity. Now, before we jump right into the product, I do want to say that today's outfit was provided by Trendy Butler. As always, this is an unpaid feature. They just send me a box of cool clothes once a month to feature here. Um, look, look at this fucking bomber. Look, look at this shit. Shit's tight! Yeah, no, they really, Trendy Butler knows me. Like by now, they really only send me clothes that are like black and white and gray and maybe occasionally like a dark blue because that's the kind of stuff that I wear. And like this bomber with this like subtle black camo that I feel is like really in right now. Um, Yeah, it's just pretty fucking tits. So if you want to try out Trendy Butler, it's, you know, one of those monthly subscription, like kind of mystery box of clothing things. I do have a discount code for you down below that can save you a little bit of money off your first box. So with all that out of the way, let's crack into this bitch and get started. Starting off as usual with packaging and pricing, you can see that this one comes in this, I mean, you, I guess you could call it a standard. It's a hundred milliliters, uh, four, that's four ounces, right? Hey Siri, how many ounces are in 100 milliliters? 100 milliliters is 3.38 fluid ounces. Thanks. All right, so it's 100 milliliters or 3.38 ounces uh, glass jar. And you'll notice that it is a little bit taller and skinnier than your kind of standard homebrew pomade jars. And it has this little bit of a taller lid. So yeah, white labeling on there, white lid with this kind of stick on label. There is a label on the lid as well if you're going to be storing this in a drawer or something. And this comes in at 25 Singapore dollars, which is about $18 US. So really, you know, pretty standard homebrew pricing. And as of right now, anyway, I just checked their website the other day and at, at this point in time, they are offering 30% off worldwide shipping as well. All right, so next up, everyone's favorite category, we gotta crack in and talk about Dasent. So, uh, before I crack this one open, this is listed as their take on the Aventus scent at the moment. And it does say on their website that this is subject to seasonal change. Um, so I would be curious to see what other kind of scents they come out with for this in the future. But as of right now, it is listed as Aventus. Now, I have I haven't used actual Aventus because I ain't got that kind of guap, like to be dropping 400 freaking smackers on some cologne that everybody seems to like lose their shit about. But I've heard it smells great. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Ooh, that does fuck me up pretty good though. Yeah, so like I said, I've never used the actual Aventus, so I can't really comment on, you know, whether or not it smells like it. But I can say that this is a nice, like kind of light, fresh, cologne scent that's got some a little bit of spice in there and a little bit of like a fruity sweetness. I know Aventus has some pineapple notes in it. I maybe get a little bit of pineapple in there. I don't know, but it's just, it's very fresh and light and clean. And once you've got it into the hair, you really don't smell it anymore, but I really do enjoy the scent on there. <laughs> I forgot how to swallow liquid. Oh, cleansing the palate, okay. 
All right, so before we get into the demo, we'll take a quick look at some of the ingredients as well as their recommended directions. So this is a water-based clay. We've got aqua in the first spot, a candelilla wax for that hold. Then we have our friend, <laughs> kaolin clay and some you know other goodies that we're used to kind of seeing in home brews these days so things like castor oil avocado oil jojoba seed oil uh, oh boy carnauba wax and then a couple of you know preservatives and things as far as their recommended directions it says for best results work a dime sized amount between your palms and apply on blow dried hair yes blow dry boys unite comb or shape your hair to desired style restyle anytime use more if needed so pretty straightforward now taking a quick look inside the jar of the product itself. It is a kind of creamy, waxy looking clay. Um, it is very smooth to scoop out and very smooth and easy to break down. It's quite creamy. There's really no clumps or anything. It breaks down really super easily. And uh, yeah, it feels a little bit waxy in the hands, but there's very little stickiness. It feels actually um, quite slick and smooth. Although you can feel a little bit of the dryness from that kaolin clay in there. So with that, let's move right over into the demo footage. So here we are starting out with freshly cleaned, blow dried hair. And we're starting in with, yeah, just what the jar says about a dime sized scoop, work that into the hands and then work that through the hair as usual. Now I will say application on this is a dream for me. It is very smooth. There is a little bit of the dryness from the clay and a little bit of grippiness, like a reassuring grippiness from those waxes. So you know you're gonna have the hold in there, but there's no tugging and pulling. It doesn't make my ends feel tangly as fuck or anything. It's, it is very easy to apply. So they definitely accomplished their goal there. Now here we are with the final look. So as you can see, it is an instant matte finish, but not too matte. So it doesn't look dry or frizzy or anything. It actually looks quite nice. It allows the natural shine of my hair to come through. Big volume, big texture. So even though, you know, my hair is getting long now with this lack of quarantine cuts. Um, but so even with my hair at this length, I got some pretty fucking bitchin' volume in there. Now, lately with a lot of products for me, that does happen. I'll like have this big Johnny Bravo quiff at the start. <laughs> And then after like 30 minutes, it kind of like deflates down just because of the length and weight of my hair. But I will say with this one, that didn't happen. So when I was filming the demo for this, I really decided to put this to the test because it's, it's not hot and humid here yet, but I did test this on a nice warm, sunny day and I did go out into you know do yard work that day so i was literally out sweating my ass off in my yard for probably four or five hours so let's take a look at what happened now it was windy too that day so my hair was getting blown around and all kinds of fucked up and just sweaty so i was kind of simulating that like humid climate i suppose so this right here is what my hair looked like immediately after coming inside you know it was blown around in the wind and whatever but check this out <laughs> and bang, we are like right where we started off. The hold is still present. It is very pliable and very restylable without losing that hold and volume or the texture even, like it still looks great. So yeah, with that kind of testing, I can definitely see how this clay would hold up quite nicely in like a hot, humid, sweaty summer day. Now, as far as the washout, they said easy washout, and it is. This is basically a water rinse. Um, really like as soon as the water hits your hair, it just straight out. Um, you know, I always use shampoo anyway, but if you didn't want to and you still wanted to rinse this out, you can. So overall thoughts, oh, that one landed hard on my hand, on the Gerson & Co. Tropics Matte Clay. This stuff is bitchin', man. Like, I really, really enjoy using this. I mean, yeah, great scent, easy scoop, smooth breakdown, smooth application, which is huge for me always. Um, yeah, and just a great looking style, you know, big volume, big texture, and the hold really freaking held up and it really stayed restylable, even through working my ass off in the yard all day. So yeah, if you haven't tried this already and you're looking for, you know, a nice stronghold matte clay that doesn't quit, Try it out, man. This shit is tits. So yeah, definitely recommended. And I'm certainly looking forward to trying, you know, other products that may come out of their lineup. So that wraps things up for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. I have lots and lots more content coming. So I've been trying to really get to a lot of the product reviews and like full line reviews that have been in my queue since literally like December. Um, so coming up very soon, I think next we're going to see the Hong Kong homebrew lineup. I also have Alistair for men. I have some SH 
S, S, yeah, SHRD, which is a, um, a Taiwanese company that's been around since 1985, and they sent me, like, quite possibly the most bougie hair product ever, so I'm really excited to try that. And uh, another thing I was thinking about is just, like, you know, we're sitting here in quarantine, so I get bored and I start thinking about stuff, and so I've been trying to think of, like, maybe some other uh, types of videos that I kind of branch out into. I know you guys are really looking more for uh, me to get back into the budget stuff series, and I am too. Uh, but I have been, you know, like most people, I've been trying to avoid going out and shopping, so I think we'll we'll have to wait a little bit on those. I don't know, I've been thinking about maybe doing like a couple like spicy commentary or reaction videos to like other somehow hair related stuff. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything uh, specific that you might enjoy seeing. But yeah, so if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. We'll see you at the next one.